So Ninja's coming back. And before that, I think it was like yesterday, I saw a picture of Lady Kimmy. And I think it was in game. I think it was like, um, what do you call it? I think it was like they were trying to sell something. And you know how they have really cool art. And I saw Lady Kimmy and I thought to myself, damn, like I have not seen Lady Kimmy in a while. I haven't used Lady Kimmy in a long time. But I, I, I can't remember how I obtained her. I think she was a fusion. I can't remember. Maybe somebody, um, you know, let me know. Or was she one of those 20 shards and you get her type deals? Can't remember. But the point is, I haven't used her in a long time. And I remember when I got her, I was using the shit out of her. Like, she was a really great champion, especially for something like Faction Wars, not to mention Doom Tower. I was using her a lot in Doom Tower, too. I don't use her that much anymore, but I did do Live Arena on my way home. I was driving home, and I was doing Live Arena on the way back, and somebody actually chose a Lady Kimmy as well. And I thought to myself, well, that's interesting. I haven't seen Lady Kimmy in a long time. But the way that they used her was as a speed booster. This is not new. This is not new news, right? Um, my late, like, a per look, perfect example right here. So let's slow this down and we'll, we'll check this out. So probably Arbiter goes first and then Lady Kimmy goes next to speed boost, right? So the whole purpose of this team here is just to go as fast as possible and speed up, speed your team up so that, you know, your, your nukers can go ahead and do their thing. Now, normally he, uh, they would win, but, you know, Harima is, is doing their, their thing here. But yeah, a lot of people have been using Lady Kimmy. This isn't new. Lady Kimmy is a speed booster. Sometimes they even go in without Arbiter, and their Lady Kimmy is just speed boosting all the way up. And um, you know what? It got me thinking. Why don't I take a look at my Lady Kimmy? And I haven't seen my Lady Kimmy in a long time, just because... I don't know, do you guys think she's been power crept? But I haven't used her in a long time. And um, the way that you would build her, basically, this isn't really a, a champion guide or anything, but the way that you would build her basically is really fast, accurate, if you want her to land her debuffs. I probably should have uh, aimed down here. But, um, yeah. Oh, 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 really? I should have... Uh... Yeah, so this Lady Kimmy that I have, I haven't seen in a while. Honestly, this is the bad... It's just a bad uh, team. Let me just go ahead and uh, take this back so that I don't feel too badly about that loss there. <laughs> yeah, so the way that I have her built right now, actually, is in speed and perception, which is pretty accurate, right? She's going at 345 speed. It's okay. 538 accuracy. If you want her to land the debuffs, which in some cases you might consider having her do that because you could still use her in Centranos. Some Doom Tower bosses you might want to run her with because if you look at her um if you look at her let's see right here. Where is it? Where is she? Where'd she go? There she is. If you look at her path her uh, aura I mean she gives a 30% boost in Doom Tower, right? Her, uh, her passive is whenever this champion places a debuff on the enemy, also uh, decreases that turn meter by 5%. So not only is she speed boosting and making our turn meter, go, turn meter go faster, if she does place the debuff, the enemy's turn meter decreases. That's also why you want to build her with some accuracy as well. Whenever this champion receives a debuff, fills turn meter by 5%. But basically, uh, basically right here is what you're looking for. You want to use this A3. So remove a debuff, place a debuff, fill turn meter by 15%, or 50, yeah, 15%, place the increased speed buff on your team. And then this also has a decreased speed, but um, what do you call it? Also a 100% chance of decreasing the turn meter by 15%. You could use either, either or, but most people I've seen running uh, Lady Kimmy, you would use this one to make yourself go faster in conjunction with Imperius to slow down the enemy's turn meter. And um, so the whole purpose of this video is I just wanted to take a look at Lady Kimmy, kind of go through this process with you guys to see if there's a better build for her available. I don't think I'm going to use her anywhere just because I don't really like I put her in a team just now, but this is such a bad. <laughs> this is kind of it doesn't sit well with me. Where, where did that go? Where, this this whole thing like, oh, 
if you have ninja you're not getting anything else but you can get this power up pack instantly upgrade him in doom tower i don't think i have any teams where i use lady kimmy yeah there's no preset teams for lady kimmy and but before i was using her there in shadowkin i think i might be using her there but i'm not entirely sure and um yeah i completely forgot what i was saying but let's go ahead and do this little journey together we're going to prioritize speed and accuracy this is how you would build her if you were looking to build lady kimmy and we'll just see what pops up how fast can we get her so 335 that's not faster than what she's currently in and 716 accuracy that might be overkill i feel like 500 is probably right where right where i want to be five maybe 600 depending yeah let's put a cap on this accuracy let's say 600 max because accuracy is important but she, i think it's better that she goes faster so we can get 382 speed 300 accuracy that's not that's not good um say 500 what, what comes up here 382 300 accuracy just out of cure yeah no they want to take gear off arbiter that's not happening this cold heart's already built let's just take this cap off and say priority number four yeah so 681 344 about the same a little more accuracy probably glyph it up but they want to take gear off of staggy we can't take gear off of staggy um but yeah i was more more just curious along the lines of trying to figure out if there was a better build for her but yeah i i mean i i personally personally don't think i'm gonna end up using her anywhere i mean it, like if you did get her you could probably use her in the dungeons but again there are better options out there in arena is probably where you're going to um, use her the most if you end up getting Lady Kimmy. I feel like there there might be an event for her. I don't know what it is. I think it just might be the whole Shadow King uh, Shadow King vibe right now, or or uh, the fact that they just came out with um, the return of what's his name uh, Ninja. So maybe they're gonna have a whole Shadow King Shadow King theme to to fit in. And they might do a Lady Kimmy thing. Uh, Mikage would be a really great champion to to pair in a all Shadowkin faction teams. By the way, did you guys like that when they did the whole uh, um they did a classic arena tournament where you had to use specific factions only? And I think Shadowkin was one of the uh, things. Damn, I I can't believe I lost that one. Well, I mean, I can't believe it. I got outsped. Uh, but they won't outspeed this one. But yeah, 